Uh, hi guys, uh, Ant here from Gas App UK. I uh, hope you're all well. Um, hope you had a great Christmas, all of you. Um, New Year's nearly upon us, 2017. Uh, can't believe uh, the app has been going now nearly 12 months. Um, well, thanks to all of you who contribute to it on a regular basis. Uh, it really has got to be um, a big and wonderful thing. So, you know, it's, uh, it's all... It's all good and uh, things are only on the up for 2017. Uh, we've got some new features coming for the subscribe members, uh, which uh, one of which is the fault finding section, which a lot of lads uh, have been quite uh, excited about. So that should be good. Um, right, okay guys, just onto a couple of housekeeping issues. The reason I'm doing this video is uh, one, so I get the message across completely. It's not just in text. Two, so it's video evidence that I can actually say that I've done this video, everybody's watched it and understood it because there's a lot of people who still don't understand what this app's about. Let me just tell you this. I built this app as a registered gas engineer for other fellow registered gas engineers. Not unlicensed people, not DIYers, all the crap that comes into these break time posts. Oh, how are we going to stop DIYers? How are we going to stop? You'll never stop it, guys. So quite frankly, stop the crap and discussions about it because it's never going to happen how can i administer all of you guys and other people who are joining the app it's just not possible you say to check gas safe registration numbers i can't i can't cross reference them on gas safe because i haven't got um uh, an inroad into gas safe other than just checking the website and it's just time consuming the only way i could do that is to put the price up which then everyone's going to balk at so Quite frankly, guys, leave that argument and park it. If a DIYer comes on here, you'll never stop them. you never stop them in Facebook groups. If a DIYer comes on here, all we'll do is weed them out like we do. As professionals, we will sign them out, report them to me. I'll delete them as a user. End of. Right, talking about deleting users. A few months ago, we all know there was a lad on here, a gentleman on here, who was causing a lot of problems, who had to go. I'm going to leave him nameless. We all know who we're talking about. I will not tolerate in any way, shape or form sexual harassment, bullying, racism, um, anything that is going to undermine people's character and just generally just being a complete and utter arsehole to people because I do not do it in my life. I don't expect others to do it. I don't like witnessing it. And guys, yes, you do pay to be on the app, some of you. But quite frankly, it doesn't give you the right then to go and start ripping people to pieces because I am sick and tired of it. The people that end up doing it more often than not have actually not paid for members, which quite frankly annoys me even more because I am then an unpaid referee. Because the people who are doing it, I'm having to then interject, calm the situation down and lo and behold, when I actually check out your profiles, you haven't even paid me for the privilege of me breaking up your playground antics. So it stops, gentlemen, now. This is the final and last warning. If it continues, you will be banned. End of. It's my app. You're welcome to use it, and I encourage everybody to use it. But I ultimately have got my name on this app, and it's my app still. So I'm not deterring anybody from it. In fact, I encourage everybody. But the small minority of people that are actually doing these things are stopping the people who are wanting to grow from posting on there. And I know this is an example of what exactly does go on because people have told me so, that they're too scared to post comments on there. So 2017 will change, ladies and gentlemen, where I want people who are in colleges learning the trade to be able to feel comfortable enough to come on and ask a question and somebody who's a bit longer in the tooth can give them the proper advice rather than ripping them to pieces because we all have to start somewhere. So, moving forward, 2017, we're all going to play nicely. Anybody that doesn't, I'll just remove them from the app. End of story. If you want to be a um, gas police body, a, a, a busybody who wants to go out and just rip everybody's work to pieces and do the Inspector Cluso on whether they're gas safe registered or whatever, Go and join a Facebook group. There's many of them out there who will welcome you because all they do all day is just take the piss out of each other and rip each other's um, credibility uh, and personalities to pieces. So go and join them. We don't want it on Gas App UK any longer. 
The final thing I am going to say, guys, is I wish you all a happy new year. Stay safe. I look forward to seeing you all in the new year. There's lots of great things coming. I am always here to help anybody and I will always listen to anybody, but I do not want to tolerate every time I open this app, people just kicking off for the sake of it because it's not good. It's school grand antics and I don't want it anymore. So happy new year, guys. Uh, I'll speak to you all in 2017. Stay safe. See you guys.